Andrew with SCW back again, and in this part of the series, we're going to talk about sharing your NVR and camera system to another user. So you've got an employee, a roommate, a contractor, anyone who needs to see the camera system, we're going to be able to share that out to their SCW Go app, and we're going to be able to also limit the functionality that we have if they need. Uh, so we're going to go to the top left button again, open the sidebar. We're going to go to our devices page, which will list all of the systems that we're connecting to. I'm going to use my home system for this. We're just going to click the three dots on the far right, and we're going to get some options at the bottom. And we're looking for share towards the bottom here. So I'm going to select that. This is going to give you a chance to select either the entire system or a particular camera you'd like to send to this person. So I'm just going to select the whole system here. Now there's a lot going on on the screen. We've got share to user, valid period, type, and we're going to cover all this. So share to user. We're going to click the plus here or click this field. It's going to ask us for the user's email address. Now this is the big caveat. The other person has to have downloaded SCW Go and registered their email for us to share it to them. So if you enter an email here and they are not registered yet, it will tell us as much. So be sure that you've told your other person. They're going to have to download the app and register their email. Once we've entered their email address, we're going to click OK, and that's going to push out to their phone. Valid period. This is going to be by default around 30 days. If this is a permanent user, you're going to want to just put a date far in the future and click OK. Now type by function. If you select this, it's going to give you by role or by function. By role is going to reference any of the user accounts you've previously created on your MBR. If we select this, it's just going to list the default user for me. I only have the base user, which will be admin. If you have secondary users or you have named users, you're going to be able to select the permission set from the user account and apply that to this person we're sharing it to. I'm going to do a buy function. This is going to let me break out the particular functions that they have when I share it to them. So this is another way to go about it if you don't have the user account on the MVR already. We're going to do live view for this user, PTZ control, two-way audio, give them alarm notifications, playback ability, we're going to leave off the device configuration for this because we don't want them to be able to reboot the MBR necessarily. We just want them to get the live view, be able to control the camera. So we can limit them from that. So we're just going to enter their email, click OK, and then share at the bottom. This is going to tell you that it's shared successfully. We've also got some other options in here, QR code. This is just an alternative method of registering your other user. You can set a password for this account set the date range, and it will generate a QR code for you here. This is intended to be scanned by the other person on their SCW Go app under device scan, add. So this is another way that you can register it. I'll find it easier to use the email method because it just arrives in their phone. All they have to do is close and reopen their app, and they'll have access to the system as well under devices. And that can be found on just the devices page. So once you've shared it to them, they're going to be able to have your home system or whatever you've shared to them in the list and they can select it to begin the live view.